yes welcome guys to another investigation this and all of our investigation on thrive podcast and want you guys to stay tuned because we're about to finish this business so what are we talking about today i want us to talk about churches so there's a big difference between a church and a cult because a cult is a is a practice and belief that is self-defined where these people who run this cult they have self-interest in this business and guys and this uh, self-interest is to just gain wealth money and become rich whereas the followers are becoming more poor and poor and they're losing meaning in the society so guys follow me on this journey as i explain to you uh what is making churches trend in kenya right now number one i'm gonna start with people who self-proclaim themselves to be jesus and we have yes watongaren guys we have been seeing yes watongaren and this is he's saying that he's the one and only Jesus. In heaven. So guys, do we believe in this? And this is making people to lose meaning and focus. And once these partners, they have a big number of congregants, they will threaten you and there's nothing you will do. So guys, I want us to follow on this journey as we investigate Yesu Watongaren. Yesu Watongaren uh, comes from Bungoma County where he has his own followers and the other followers are known as angels. Guys, can you believe that? And we find that the same, same people, they mislead these other congregants and we find them making churches to look to have a bad image. Police in Kuali County are investigating a church in Vumbu area. But guys, there are good churches and there are bad churches that are run through cultism. And I want us guys to have a difference with them through this story because most of people are getting lost. If you move on to Mombasa, we have big churches where Pastor Mackenzie had this Shakahola uh, cult businesses where you see most of the people died. And you see the government is saying most of the people lost their organs. So meaning there's something fishy behind all this that is going on. And that's why we see Pastor Ezekiel is being detained and uh, investigator because there are so many things behind the scenes we need to know but guys if you hear them clearly you have you will notice something if we talk about pastor Ezekiel, he had 25 bank accounts being frozen a pastor having 25 banks accounts guys let me not put quotes but you guys you have to see for yourself and the pastor comes and tells you that <laughs> Tells you this so what does that mean to you what does that mean to you it's a food for thought so guys i want us to continue on the same same mombasa we have a church that has been shut down by the government because he's believed to be an ordain of cultism because most of the members in the church they come from where they're coming from they leave work they leave everything in the world they come and see that this is the way forward and they want to move with this cultism type of worship reports indicate that some of the followers resigned from their stable well-paying jobs and relocated to this village to pray while surviving on odd jobs and this leads to poverty it leads to uh, people getting lost people losing their minds and people focusing on the wrong thing that leads to death guys these same pastors are the same same people who makes the prostitution of business to endeavor. Mimi naitwa Esther Mwende. Na mimi pastor alinipata ngapa pastor Michael Njoroge wa ministry fire ministry. Mwenye alinipata hapa kana metende short. Mimi siko najua ni pastor. Why am I saying this? We see most of the pastors they, they they have been visiting these prostitutes. That's what we call what husband. Let's call him Mr. X. Allegedly found his wife Mrs. Y sleeping with his good time friend and a church pastor. The opposite is the same so guys uh, i want you to take a look at this matter keenly because these pastors they are the same people who perform fake miracles so that you guys believe and these miracles are only to attract followers who bring offerings and tithes
Mdomo mdomo imerudi vizuri. Imerudi vizuri. Utarudi kuongea maneno ya wachungaji tena. Sitaongea nikisikia watu wakiongea ndakuwa nikikimbia kama swala. Una to make the pastor rich. You have to be careful when you join this type of churches. You have to be careful when you committing yourself to this type of pastors because they will mislead your life making you to lose meaning and focus. So guys, according to this investigation, do you think all the churches deserve to be closed, investigated, taxed and put in the government system or these secluded churches that are doing this cultism job should be investigated, put to task, closed and let other churches that are doing the right business be free. Tell us in the comment section as we do more investigation.